everyone! So today I am taking a break from my midterm studying and I'm going to bring to you a tutorial, um, an inspired tutorial. Um, as I was flipping through my Cosmo uh, March edition, I came across Drew Barrymore in a CoverGirl ad and I thought her makeup looked really, really cute. So I wanted to um, not recreate it exactly, I put my own little twist on it and um, I will show you the ad right now. So as you can see, her eyes are pretty, um, not too dark, they've got like a neutral look in the middle and there is like a, pur um, a purple in the crease, um, which is smoked out. Her lips are pretty neutral, her whole face is pretty neutral. It's a really, cre uh, really clean and nice look, so I decided to um, do this for you guys. So stay tuned and I will show you what I did for it. Okay, so first I'm just going to prime my eyelid, uh, on my eyelid with um, Urban Decay Primer, Primer Potion, just the original one. And sorry if you can hear background noise, I just have my TV on just for my pure entertainment. So I'm just going to let that sit for a couple seconds. And the first, um, the, the color that's going on my base lid, I kind of, I did my own little twist on it, and I mixed a, um, really neutral, like, nice base natural color with, um, a more browny but purpley kind of undertony color. <clears throat> so the first one that I am putting on my lid is from my Urban Decay Book of Shado Shadows Volume 2, and that is in Sellout. Ah! Um, that one right there. And then on top I'm just going to be putting YDK. Okay. So. And I'm just taking my Bare Essentials, um, tapered eyeshadow brush. I'm using both sides for this. So first, just the sellout color. And I'm just going to put it all over my lid. just all over, not too much, but just so it covers um, all over. And then the other side, taking the um, YDK and being really careful with this one because this one's fallout is probably the worst of the eyeshadows that I own. So just being really careful, and if it does, it's not a big deal. We can just clean that up after. Um, and next, I am going to take my Sigma E30 pencil brush, and I'm taking my Smashbox, or not my Smashbox, my Sephora Collection um, Blockbuster palette, and I am taking um, this color right here, and I am just going to work that um, along the outer V, darker along the outer V, and more lighter um, in the crease. careful with the fallout from this one as well. And I'm just going to take tissue and work off the excess so I can work this color in. I'm just going to um, take my Sigma E40 um, blending, tapered blending brush and just blend in the crease. And then I'm going to just gonna go back with the pencil brush and make my outer V a little darker. Uh, 
Um, and then I'm just going to take the same tapered blending brush from Sigma and put a different color on it, a softer purple, just to um, go under the brow bone and just above the crease. <clears throat> and I'm going to just take the same Smashbox palette, but with this softer purple here, and go ahead and do that. And I literally, t you can't even see anything on the brush because it's so light, and just right here, I'm going to blend. And just take a tiny, tiny bit more, and focus down here in the crease more because we want the crease to be a softer effect compared, like compared to the V. And then you'll probably need to go back to that original purple color and just touch up the outer V again just to make it dark. Um, and now for a highlight I am using my medium angled um, shading E70 Sigma brush and my Lisenza eye highlight which I always use and I'm just going to place it under the eyebrow and in the outer corner or the inner corner of my eye and just blend that down under the eye a bit and under my eyebrow and I'm just taking this back to blend this a bit more and then the same color from the crease and the outer V you're just going to bring whatever is left on the brush down underneath the eye line about three quarters of the way. Drew isn't wearing any eyeliner or anything in the picture, um, but her lashes are looking fuller, so to do, um, to kind of like make the illusion, <coughs> create the, the, sorry, create the illusion that my eyelashes look fuller, I'm going to take <coughs> any pencil eyeliner and just tight line my upper lash line. Um, then you can take any eye curling, <coughs> eyelash curler and mascara. I am using my Sephora brand um, eyelash curler and just curling my lashes. And my one by one Maybelline mascara, which as you know, I love very much. <laughs> Then I am just going to take the excess and put it on my lower lash line. And then just to make my eyelashes um, more stood up, I take my eyelash color after I've applied mascara and I just hold that for a couple seconds. and it just pushes them up a little. <clears throat> okay, and um, Drew has gone for a really um, neutral nude lip, so I'm just going to be taking my Lucenza Lip Love um, lip gloss, and I'm just going to apply that to my lips. Okay, so this is the finished look of my Drew Barrymore inspired tutorial. I hope that you guys like it. If you try it out, let me know and see how it goes, and I will talk to you guys all later. Bye.